All right, welcome back to another. This is actually a very special episode of the Careful Boys, where indeed we are going to talk about what we actually really think about one Bart Kwan. Hot take. Bert. What Do finally you really feel and think about this dude, and what is the first thing that came to your mind? When he's you lazy. Know? I'm just glad he's not here. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll say it. Wrong. He's weak. I'm glad I'm sitting next to Anthony. Feeble. He's weak. He's super weak. His butt's like really sucks. nice. I'm a little Bart envious of his meat. Yeah. He has a uh, giant ass. But that wasn't the first impression of, of it, was it? His butt just recently got big. He <laughs> booty built it. That's oh, true. Sure. <laughs> Can't give him credit for that for first I impressions. I met, I met Bart the first time at, uh, they had a seminar at Barbell Brigade that I went to. So like my first impression, he was super nice to me. Was it a Bart seminar? Lame. No, it was a Mark Bell seminar. Oh, so you went to go see Mark Bell, and yeah, you're I went like, to go see Mark Bell who's and this scrawny Asian guy next to yeah. this little pussy guy? And, like and I was like, oh, he's the owner of this gym. Oh, okay, cool. And then he was nice, and then yeah, <clears throat> he's just been nice to me. I don't know. He's not nice here. I guess. Yeah, he has he invited Anthony me to his home. home. I watched fights at his house. He got me yeah, good barbecue. Remember? I don't know what you're talking about. He doesn't do barbecue so, for us. <sighs> Shout out Bart, but his squat's I'm, weak, but yeah. We're cutting all this out. I yeah, just wish so. Bart treated us like he treated Barbell. You know what can't I mean? use any of that, thanks. <laughs> or he treated us like he treats Alex. Or he treats us like people. Maybe it's just you, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> sounds like you have something to say. Don't bring me into this, is about Bart. He treats me pretty good, actually. Like, what are you like, trying to say, that Bart bullies you in some way? <laughs> yeah, do you think Bart bullies you? I like Bart, Bart's okay. Um, let, what do I really think about Bart? How long? Well, what was your first impression of him? Yeah. When you first met I him. I thought he was just a gym bro. I, it was fucking in Australia. You guys were doing Uncle Chin, Uncle Sam. Or fuck did you, have you seen him prior to meeting him? Did you know, like, did you watch his videos or anything? Not really. That's true. We all met and then we were like, hold on, we got to do our thing. And then we get into the outfits and we're like, hi, Australia. How you doing? Yeah. So I was genuinely like, I was like, oh shit, this is a thing. Like people just act mad Asian and then everyone loves it. Cause I wasn't, that was one of the unique things that fucking JK did. Right. Yeah. I was like, Oh, I'm Asian, but man, this is really Asian. You know what I mean? Um, and then Bart was like, Bart, you know, when you see him, when you first see him, you're like, oh shit. Yeah, right. He's like, you think it's tits larger are fake. dude, yeah. fucking mm -hmm. tattoos and shit. Got a fucking little Chinese tattoo and shit on his chin. Very thug Chinese, life, yeah. right? Military haircut. You go, that's a fucking comedian if I ever saw one. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's all like, also that kind of nice. Over, right? Yeah. You know when you see an intimidating large dude that's like nice, mm, you're like, yeah. the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Or like, what happened in your past? But he was just mad nice. It was Gio who was more intimidating than him. Gio scared the him. shit out of me for Gio time. fucking really? scared me. Cause she, she has, I don't know, she, it, she's not trying to make a look, but when I- Resting her, bitch face. She has she's intimidating. She's just very intimidating. And she's way taller than me. So she looked down. She's like, hey, what's up, Nick? And she patted me on the Dunking head. Dunking on you. Oh, hello, boy. Yeah. <laughs> but she was very nice to me, but I was intimidated. More than I was so when the, I met Bart. So, they, so the way that they look is like, oh shit. And then you actually talk to him, you're like, Oh, you nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gio's still intimidating compared to Bart, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. I second that. I can see it because she's more quiet. Whereas Bart, well, it depends. If, if it's like half day on JK, Bart's already fucking asleep. But <laughs> if it's seven a.m. in the morning, Bart's already like Bart's already half the way out of the videos. But no, but Gio is Gio could be more reserved. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. She's she's a lot more reserved. But first time I met Bart. I felt the same way. I thought he was I, he was a big burly man, and I was like, "Yo, this dude thick. Like he's wide." You just met him at the gym. He, I, I think he came and trained. and did a kickbox class. Me, that was the first time I met him. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think that's so with like David and him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I met him, and he was really nice, and he was actually kind of like sweet. He was such a little sweetheart, <laughs> and he was kind of soft spoken. And I was like, he was like, "Hey, what's up, man?" Like. He's very sarcastic. Sometimes you'd make jokes and I'd be like, oh, you were joking. I didn't, I, it went over my head. But otherwise, the more I got to know him, the more I realized that I don't like him that much. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. I have like a strong distaste for him. You know how like people grow on you? He grows away from you. <laughs> <laughs> and he grows in general. Yeah. He does. He's gotten way fucking bigger. Oh, that's the other thing about Bart. He's He changes weight all the yeah, time. Yeah, I was about to yeah. say, he's like, he, he's been like three different people since I've known him. <laughs> when you met him, Anthony, he was probably like my size. Yeah, he's definitely skinnier. Yeah. You were also skinnier. I was I also was, skinnier. You were all skinnier. All scrawny. Yeah. I was like can. I met I met him at the roast, at the Timmy roast, and then I remember thinking that it was your channel, not 
I didn't think that he had anything to do with the channel other than- Is it because he didn't introduce himself? Or did I, or? Yeah, you were more talkative, and then also I had heard of you before. I had never heard of anybody in JK before, except for you, because it was just through the grapevine. I think you had done something at Maker before, and people talked about Joe Malia for some reason, like in my in my era. Oh, interesting. People had told me about Joe, and I thought your name was Joe Malia. I thought your full name was Joe Malia. <laughs> to this day, you're in my phone as Joe Malia, because I didn't I didn't know what the fuck your name Joseph was. Joseph Malia. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a dictator, huh? That's funny. But then I, I started to put it together as I was on the show that I was like, oh, Okay, this this is like okay, got it. But yeah, uh, but I thought it was a position. You always <laughs> carried the whole show, to be honest. Yeah. Like I think Bart was like he it was really good to kind of everybody needs star. a sidekick. Yeah. yeah, you're the star. He's uh, holding I, you back too. I mean, he adds him. equal character, but I just you know. I don't think you need him anymore. No, honestly. he's holding you back big time. <laughs> I think you should get rid of him. You grow so much more. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't have Bart weighing you down. Man, and he the weighs levels you get hit. Yeah, he does, he's an anchor, bro. Like, especially when he's sleepy and I gotta fucking... He's like anchor protocol. Yeah, bro! Albatross. You have to get way louder. Is that Albatross? Usually when you're getting loud, it's because you're trying to wake him up. You're trying to shock him. <laughs> how does his mind work, though? Like, how does he really think about scheduling, right? Because he's, like, so Dude. fucking on schedule. He's like, right, I'm gonna wake up, like he said, I gotta wake up at 3.30 in the morning so I can get my workout in, so I can drive to JK News from Vegas so at 5. Early. Get here at 10. Eat my fucking steak every single goddamn steak morning. Steak and eggs. And do my fucking jam and butter on my bread and yeah. shit like that. <laughs> and then show up for four videos out of 20. And then just passes out for, like, the rest of the work. Unless he wants to diss me. <laughs> then he comes awake. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, fuck you, Anthony. It's like the Holy yeah. Ghost fucking <laughs> presides inside him. <laughs> You had to be. And, then, and then this part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, it's like, it's only eight minutes. Oh shit. And he oh, comes man. back. <laughs> Trying to end the conversation. I just want to open up right now about this experience I had in my childhood. <laughs> Dude, one time we for the fights, we me, Alex, and Gilbert, because we do an MMA show a podcast, and we went and did a live stream at the Quan residence in Vegas. And we were there till probably like 10 o'clock. It was about 10. In. And we're sitting down, shooting the shit. Geo's like kicking it with us, you know. Were you guys recording the podcast at 10? Yeah, we're doing a live stream with everybody. But we had finished by this time. Oh, we had okay. finished. Yeah. So we were already just like kind of unwinding, right? And it's, it's about to be 11. And we're sitting and talking and we're about to leave, but we're standing by the door all mm -hmm. talking. And all of a sudden, Bart goes up. Turns off all the lights in the house. <laughs> it gets all dark. And Gio's like, hey man, what the fuck? <laughs> We're still talking. Why are you turning off all the lights? He was literally trying to kick us out. He brought our shoes for us mm -hmm. and was like trying to shoo us out the fucking door. Dude. <laughs> what? That's what he does. He'll do that to you at 7.15. <laughs> As the fights are starting, he's like, uh, you guys should probably get going, huh? He invites you to a barbecue, and at 6.30, he kicks you out before the main event. Yeah. I did that shit. I was like, yo, I'm, I'm taking Nina to Vegas for like a thing, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, dude, you can stay at my house. You just come whenever. I was like, dude, I'll probably get in late. We're going to watch the show. He's like, no, it's no problem. Come back. <laughs> Fucking get there. We like just get into like Beatles love. We're like barely starting the show, and he's like, hey, man, like what time are you going to be here? You know, it's, it's, it's only because like Tyka's got to wake up early and blah, blah, blah. Throws all this shit at me. <laughs> so literally in the middle of Beatles love, I'm sitting there booking a hotel room fucking last night because I feel so bad. I feel fucking bad. I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to wake this fool up and like his kid and shit. He just know? gave me a key. <laughs> when me and Ryan stayed at Bart's yeah. house for JK, Ryan got there at like 12 o'clock and they were like, come on in, dude. Yeah. Let's go. And he stayed up and was kicking it with us. Oh. Really late. We stayed up till like 1 a.m. Yeah, he went to bed like 1 a.m. But that's because he didn't give him the raise that he gave me and Steve. That's true. Yeah, we got, a, we got a sick. Oh shit! I wasn't supposed to say that. That's when I get in place of a race. More time with him. I mean, it's, it's sweet. He just loves you so. Bump. We got a little bump. Yeah, we got a little bump. That's, that's bump. Funny that, that he, he was kicking it for so long, and then ultimately we turned in because we wanted to fucking go to bed. Yeah. And Bob was like, "You sure you guys want to hang out a little longer?" He <laughs> turned on all the lights instead of turning them off. <laughs> she tries to spend time with the employees. That's nice of him. That's so true though, because I remember when I was homeless, I would crash there all the time. <laughs> and then when I came over, I think they wanted to kick it, because they're like, oh, it's been like a while. And then me and Hannah was like, man, we just had a real long road trip, dude, so peace. And then they're all sitting on the couch, and I was like, fuck, I think they wanted to talk and shit. <laughs> but we're so used to sleeping early. Yeah, with, with them, yeah. come over to their house, so it's like. Or just had a fucking bang, he's like, all right, I'll stay up for 45, let's see what we got. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking down to five hour energy and he goes, let's have a conversation <laughs> till 11.30 p.m. and I'm knocking out. Mm -hmm. Dude, I, I'm, I've seen that fool fall asleep just sitting in his chair, just completely falling asleep, like in the middle of everyone sitting in a circle talking. Oh, for sure. He, he's been like that though, even when we were young. Like, uh -huh. you think that's some old man shit, right? 
we would be at clubs, like everyone's dancing, fucking drunk, <laughs> partying. He goes and finds a bench and you see him in fetal just knocking the fuck out. That happened to me once. Once, right? That's normal because I mean people are getting drunk <laughs> once. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Express VPN. Alright, I like to travel a lot. Mm -hmm. And on my phone, it's very sensitive. You know, I got my crypto on there. Oh yeah. I got my socials on there. I got my mm -hmm. whole life in there. And God forbid that one day someone sneaks in, goes into everything, destroys all my life. Man, it would be so damn difficult to gather up everything and I do not ever want that to happen. So that's why I use a VPN on my phone because when I connect to different Wi-Fi's, all over the different world, you know? I might be at this airport, or I might be over here at this hotel. I might be like connecting at this cafe. Who knows, right? I wanna feel extremely safe. Did you know that if there's someone on the same network as you, and both of you guys are unencrypted, they can hack into your information, and then these hackers can take your information and sell it on the dark web for $1,000 or more. Wow, that's a lot of money, that's man. That's why it's so important to encrypt your stuff. I got ExpressVPN on my phone. I got it on my laptop and it's so easy to use. You literally just click and then it goes on just like that. Mm. So it's super easy to use to protect yourself because identity theft is a crazy thing right now, especially with the internet and everyone has their whole life on there. You got pictures, you got your information, you got financial data. So it's really important to stay safe. But ExpressVPN, it's very easy to use, mm -hmm. okay? So hackers can't steal your sensitive data because they have this encrypted tunnel between your data and the internet. So it's like, bam, fool, they just like did a whole magic trick on you. It's super secure. It'll take a hacker a billion years to get through ExpressVPNs. So it's not just like putting a blindfold on them. It's putting a blindfold on the hacker, making him spin around with a fucking bat and then telling him go somewhere. Yeah, take that. Secure your online data today by going to expressvpn.com slash off the record. E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash off the record. And you can get an extra three months for free expressvpn.com slash off the record. Oh, wow. Let's get one. <laughs> this fool is like at 10.30, he starts getting tired around midnight. We'll be at the fucking club or a party or somewhere and he's sleeping. So good. It seems like he gets like a, he can recharge a lot off of like a really quick nap. <laughs> he naps half the time we're here. Yeah. He like goes in the fucking yeah, back room. I was surprised because like, it was like after we went, we took a break and then we were about to start filming. He's all, hey, let me know when we start. I'm gonna take a nap. I was like, we're starting in like two minutes. He's like, yeah. Cool. And then he gets back and he's like super energized. I'm like, from that, you just shut your, you just took a long blink. It's mil very military. Yeah, it's like a military yeah. skill, right? Yeah, he could sleep That's really tight. quick. Like I used to um, live with him. Like when you live, when you went to UCLA, I would go visit all the time, right? And I was dating his roommate at the time, and then so like we would be chilling, and we're talking. You know how like the, the room's like dark, but like we're all be in you know our beds and just talking, and we can hear his voice, and then he'll be responding, and then in the middle of the conversation, you hear, <laughs> and we're like, Bart. And we're like, oh shit, that fool just fell asleep while we were talking in the middle. So we rolled over and started fucking. <laughs> really? <laughs> you fucked Bart? That's sick. <laughs> while he was asleep, whoa. You just That's roll him over and start fucking him. <laughs> Don't wake daddy. <laughs> probably, the fun, probably the thing that I, you know, as I got to know him, because I think I'm one of like the last people who like rolled under the gate before Bart closed the friendship doors, kind of. <laughs> oh, his yeah. quota, his quota was hit. Yeah, like he's like, you know, I think we all kind of did that when we hit a certain age, but like, you yeah. know, I feel, like, I feel like I'm one of his most closest recent, most recent friends at the same time. But I didn't know what a what a shy dude that he is, like in there, you know, because oh, he's all, an introvert. He's dude. a super introverted he's a dude. Full on introvert. He's super interesting yeah. also to observe. Like everything that he does, he's sort of like Nikki in a way where everything that he does. Turns you on. I'm always, yeah, yeah. I like to see his ass. <laughs> everything he does. Everything he does, I'm always like, how, where did you even come up with the, that you're, that you're capable of doing something like that? But he, but he just pulls something else out of a hat and I'm always like, fucking, of course Bart's gonna launch like a, a protein powder and like, you know, he's gonna have a, a pre-workout and yeah. all kinds of shit. It's just, yeah. he's, dude, he's such a monster with that stuff. I'm really, I'm really proud of the dude. It's, yeah. it's fun to watch him. His initiative and resolve is like yeah, impressive. It's oh, like the 12 minute part of the video where he starts saying nice things. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Yeah. All right, nah, he's cool, it's, I like him. To me, it's, a, it's, it's really dope having him as a business partner though, because you, um, you know, just hearing all, all these other people's like 
experiences in business with with their partners and whatever like there's a lot of ego involved yes. right like i got fucking lucky that he doesn't do any of that shit when it comes to like his pride or what he wants out of the company he's just like there for the cause mm. and it's been consistently that so he's a like, down ass bitch yeah, yeah he is a down it's ass like bitch. let's get this oh that's why he'll wake up at three in the morning get his workout in and then drive down from vegas and do the show with us because he could say i'm coming tomorrow and then like i'll find a fill-in and this is like he'll consistently hit this this is the first time where he was like all right i gotta dip for like the whole weekend yeah and next month he was even like, dude, I feel bad. I got to dip again because I'm going to do the basketball game in Toronto. And I'm like, yeah, but JK making a the presence there. That's, yeah, that's, that's legit. Think. Like you got to play with Jeremy Lin and Simu because they don't want to play with me. Dude, you're Burt Swan. <laughs> you got to fucking go play over there. <laughs> Burt Swan. Yeah. Burt Swan, dude. Everyone's going to know Burt Swan. the name. Remember the name. Yeah. Mark Kwan I mean? is so old, you know what I mean? Burt Swan is a new new. Yeah. Also knowing him pre taika like where he was, I mean, he really is like in a lot of ways the same dude. But but seeing watching him become a father has been fucking interesting because he's like every, all the shit that he puts into like all the stuff that he does, he puts even more of that into Taika. So yeah. it's like it's really cool to see, man. He, he's the, probably like one of the first people I would go to if I'm a dad out where I'm like, yo, what what the fuck's going on with this? Yeah, even even the way that he had Taika get into jiu-jitsu, right? He said that the first day Taika didn't want to fucking go, and he's like, man, I don't think he's gonna like it. And I'm like, so what are you gonna do? Kick his ass? Cause I was like thinking maybe he would Asian dad him, and he's like, nah, I think I want him to like love the sport. So I was like, all right, so just yell at him. <laughs> and then he's like, no, I'm like I think I'm just gonna, you know, just just wait it out and then do it consistently. So he says like over a period of weeks or or, or a month or whatever, they would just go and hang out there, no pressure cool. to do it. Yeah. And every single time, I was like. Dude, I think that's like what everybody probably wanted out of their parents. That's the right way to do it, right. honestly. Yeah. Cause but I just like, you're wasting my fucking money. I'm paying a lot of money for these lessons, so you better get good. <laughs> <laughs> that's the right way. <laughs> that yeah. is right. It works though. It's like the clean your plate or you're not going fucking like yeah. you're you're going to bed hungry shit. It, yeah. That worked on me like crazy. It's a new era yeah. now though. These kids, the, these kids aren't taking that shit anymore. The old ways don't work. Yeah, we have they, rights now. Because now the parents are bullying them, or they're, they're, it's like some kind of damaging them if they're forced to eat on yeah. the plate. One of the funniest things, too, is I, I remember when I first met you guys, like, 14 freaking years ago or something. And then uh, when you guys invited me to be on, like, when, when JK was all sketches and shit. Mm. And then I just remember thinking, like, before I met them, I was like, I've seen these guys. They're fucking nuts. I was like, they're crazy. They're probably crazier than we are. Yeah. And then um, you mean we as in Quest? Yeah. Your guys' moves are crazy. But though. I thought you guys were like gonna be all like wild because I'm, like from all your videos, my dudes are gonna be fucking nuts. Yeah. And then it's just like the exact opposite. Like production-wise, like being there, everything's so well organized. And at the time, I think Gio was like the producer, and it, like I had never seen anyone do anything at that scale in terms of like Asian creators at oh, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like we the ran structure. a fucking tight ship yeah, here, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. And it's funny, like, now that's like, whatever, everybody does that, but yeah. like, that wasn't even common back then. I remember thinking, dude, this big dude's pretty fucking who's a big teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he really is a giant teddy yeah. bear. It was, and he's like super nice, and then everything was like, it was like a really interesting impression I got. Mm. I was like, oh, so you could, you could execute as fucking crazy as you want, but then in terms of like the back end and like structure, like you can actually have a really successful, like tight knit thing. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, I was actually surprised with how nice Bart was to me off the jump. And I was like, dude, you don't even know who the fuck I am. I could be crazy, and you're being so nice to me. So you gotta be nice to those types of people. I've never seen him being so mean out. to anybody. Like, like even <laughs> annoying people. I was just like... He's a very patient dude. Dude, he's yeah. never been mad at me, yelled at me. None of that shit. I know he has anger problems, though. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> dude, what do you feel like? Sure. What do you feel like he like flips out over? He just beats know, Gio, like, that's why. <laughs> I know for a fact he gets angry about things and he's like fought with other people and things like that. But like, no, nah, he's never been mad at me. Yeah. Um, I've been fucking yelling at him and mad at him, <laughs> but like, he's never been mad at me. And um, I, yeah, I know, I know like other stories of other people he got mad at, but yeah, I've never seen it. That's pretty wow. interesting to be friends that freaking long and he's never been like mad at you. Yeah. He might also just have this like uh, ability to 
compartmentalized, especially when it comes to like work related stuff. He because he's oh, like he's like socking a picture of him instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know what I mean though? He's so like um it's not like a, a weird meticulous, but he has such an attention to detail and a logic, a foundation of logic that he applies yeah. to almost any situation. It's like, well, if this then this, it's like, well, why would you do this when you should do this? Or like that's a problem, so I'm gonna focus on you know what I mean? It's mm. just so when he thinks business, and I can imagine outside of business stuff, when things are just like, you know, the sporadicness of life, maybe, but maybe it's, I don't, I'm guessing it's the military, I'm guessing it's the shit he did in high school and, and, and yeah. coming back around to college and stuff like it's that. It's like you know? he said in that video where he beat up his bunk, his fucking roommate. Yeah. Where he was like, if you want to discuss, <laughs> he's always open to discuss, but that dude just said, fuck you. So he started wailing on him. <laughs> start blasting. <laughs> I mean, think of all the things he's been through, even just at a Neiman Marcus. <laughs> even Allen. <laughs> even Allen. <laughs> it's funnier to say oh, Neiman Marcus now. Club Monaco. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking hide in a grandfather clock because he was getting yeah. his ass beat. Grandfather yeah. clocks will always be fresh. Yeah, on there's so much to learn from that. Like being able to see the humor in your dad fucking stalking you like <laughs> Silent Hill. <laughs> and, and, and turning your life into that. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? How impressive I used to that. live with Bart's dad. And I feel like, was, the funny thing is, I lived with Bart's dad, but Bart wasn't living there. He had an extra room. And you guys are wild. Yeah. And then, um, that's another level. Yeah. You guys have that so many crazy That was a era. sitcom spinoff, man. Yeah, 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 I love yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. But um, I got to know why Bart is the way Bart is by meeting and knowing his parents. Uh, yeah, for sure. His dad can fucking remember everything without a calendar. Because his, his life is like clockwork. And he gets mad because he's like, why can't you just remember normal shit every Tuesday of the first Tuesday of every month? We fucking steam clean the whole entire house. You're supposed to just leave your things and this. I'm like... Fuck, bro, that's crazy. Who remembers that? He and then he, you'll be like, hey, we're gonna go eat on the 27th at uh, six o'clock. We're gonna go to this restaurant. You'll be like, all right, I'll be there. And he'll just show up five minutes early. So like, oh, he, without like going, hey, we're meeting up today. Don't forget. No, he just he's like his remembering it from like, a yeah. month ago, huh? And then he's the most repetitive scheduled oh. dude. And then you start when you live with someone, you start to notice like certain patterns. He makes soup on Sunday and then he eats that throughout the first three days and then he cooks whatever he wants for the rest of the week. Um, he has his work schedule. Probably shits at the same yeah. time every day too. Uh. Bro, and then like if he's- He's a fucking serial killer, dude. <laughs> he'll watch something nonstop. So, oh, he'll binge through? Dude, for two months straight- <laughs> Toby Maguire Spider-Man, cause yeah. then I'll get it. <laughs> Seems to be. The Chinese military parade. Oh yeah, On did. fucking repeat, bro. He Why? would watch, so he hates communist China because yeah. he ran away from China yeah. to come to America, right? Oh, yeah. He swam away. I don't understand the logic, but this is what, this is what Bart told me, is that even though he hates communist China, he loves watching the parade because it's like the accomplishment of Chinese people. So then, okay. so then I'm like, that makes no sense to me. Because if you hate the fucking communist, that's a he's a down ass bitch though. Right? That's where it comes from. And then I'll, so 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 he has this. So he he watches this parade for two months straight. Every single day after work, he I go downstairs. He's watching a parade. Same one. When the parade ends, he goes, man, that shit was sick. And he has to fucking do it on repeat like it was a How good How do you watch scene? a fucking parade? What are you <laughs> talking about? Watching, watching a parade, parade sounds awful. Ugh. He's just sitting down right, and he parade. watches a parade. Mm. I just don't For really get months? that. Top five parades. Everyone watches it sometimes. He watches it now. Parade. Is it this China 70th anniversary? Oh no, probably something really. Just a China military parade. Some CCTV <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's like China <laughs> military guys, fucking a rocket, a tank. Is there a pride parade in China? No, I don't think so. Can you imagine that shit? I think it's the China pride parade. Okay, yeah. this kind of So it's like this shit? Yes, yeah, just like that. And and it's it's, it's pretty back pretty to impressive. back to back. The photography's on point though. Wait, is this clean. North Korea? No, that's China, right? <laughs> this is better than the Rose Bowl parade. The colors are more dynamic. Yeah, so imagine Dude, this. Crispy, look at that. Like an like a like an hour of it, and then he just down. plays it. One of those guys who like loved staring at like you know ant colonies. Dude, this farms. is sick though. Oh, okay. Dude, I can get behind this. Shit. Okay. No. Yeah. I love is that music. live music or? This is not their music. No, nah, they're, <laughs> they're playing it. There's a band playing it. Nah, <laughs> yeah. that's not their music, bro. I was looking yeah, up. I was looking up. There's a metal band. Chinese parades and Van Halen tribute bands. <laughs>